My name is Nick Layton, and for the next few minutes, you are exactly where you want to be. This was originally recorded September 1st, 2020 for Facebook Live, uncut and uncensored. Let's take a little time to talk about certainty. But first, let's start by looking at the flip side, the fear of the unknown. Who likes the fear of the unknown? Who likes uncertainty? Well, business owners and entrepreneurs. We're different. We love the unconventional. If you have a problem, give it to an entrepreneur and we will rise to the challenge. It won't be conventional. It might break the established process. We may even have to go right up to the edge of, shall we say, conventional acceptance, but we will find a solution. We thrive in this environment. It's never been done. We'll do it. Why are we hardwired this way? Because that's how businesses are formed. That's how innovators bring new products to market. That's how we break down barriers. Okay, so who doesn't like uncertainty? Who despises the fear of the unknown? Everybody else. And that will probably include many of your customers, your team, your suppliers, and other stakeholders. You see there's probably a gap here, a certainty gap. There are a lot of people, and they are also probably your customers and your team, that are freaking out right now because the environment and the economy has changed. COVID-19 has changed a lot of things. It has brought uncertainty. It doesn't matter which side of the spectrum you are. Feeling highly at risk or think that this virus doesn't exist beyond political scaremongering, most people are steeped in uncertainty. Oh, and by the way, everyone else's face mask protocol is just like other drivers. They're either driving too fast or too slow. So with all this uncertainty swelling around, what do you think is one of the strategies we have to use as business owners to excel in today's world? Yes, we need to create certainty. I will go further. It's actually your duty as a business owner to create certainty. So the question is how? There are two steps. Step one simply get off the fence. If you are waiting for something before you make a decision, if you're in a, we'll do this when that happens, if you are a procrastinator, if you feel like you can't make a decision because of COVID, then think again. You have to make a decision and move things forward. I understand why business ground to a halt in March, but it's been long enough now, people. Make the decision on how your business will move forward today. Step two is around communication. It's been nearly 90 years since President Franklin Roosevelt used a series of fireside chats to engage the American public as it navigated big events like the Great Depression and World War II. Families huddled around their radios to hear their president's broadcast, which connected the White House and American homes in a brand new way. Fast forward to 2020, and while the technology behind those broadcasts has evolved significantly, since the 1930s, the basic premise that drove them remains intact. People like to feel connected and they rely on helpful, supportive information to get them through difficult times. So while global pandemic has reduced our in-person connections, you should be using technology to share valuable knowledge and educate via modern day fireside chats. It's that simple. If you have the false belief that you have to wait and see, I want you to change that today create certainty and communicate it. Now, it's your turn. How can you create certainty and how best can you communicate it? Post it here, I'd love to know. And if you found just one nugget of advice or inspiration on this quick video useful, then please do me a small favor, like and share. Follow this page and join me next Tuesday when we'll take another look into entrepreneurship and business ownership for today's economy. My name is Nick Layton and I wish you passion, profit and happiness.